Hello everybody, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Java for Windows in 2025. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is go to your web browser. And first off, I'm going to show you what happens when you don't have Java installed on your Windows operating system. So for example, if you have a jar file, so if I have like Ibis Minecraft, uh, this is something kind of specific, but if I just give myself a jar file, you'll see that we don't have any icon here. Right? And if I go to my downloads folder and I want to double click it, it'll just say select an app to open this .jar file and these won't work. This is because I don't have Java on my computer. So how can we fix this? Well, it's quite easy. So if I go back to my web browser, all you want to do is basically do two things. You have the normal Java for Windows. So it is just Java for Windows. And you also have the other type of Java, which is JDK. So you have JDK 23. And that will just be the latest one. So if we go to Java downloads here, accept, and I go to Java for Windows, Except here we have Java 8 and here we have Java 23. So we can also have both of these on our computer. And of course, I'll have both of these links in the description if you need them. So basically, if we go to download Java for Windows, I used the version 8 on this website specifically. All you have to do is just go on download Java and it's going to download you a little exe here. And to use this, all you have to do is simply go to your downloads folder, like so. So go to the downloads folder. You might have a different directory depending on your defaults in your web browser. But once you found your exe, all you have to do is simply double click it. And he will tell you a little, do you want changes on your computer? Just say yes. And it's going to start up the Java install script. So if we go here, it will say welcome to Java. All we want to do is simply do install and here it's going to start downloading Java. And yeah, let's just wait for all this to be done. Here it is. We have a different window that shows up. And basically it doesn't take too long to download this Java, which is pretty good. And here we see we have successfully installed Java. So what this means? Well, if we go back to our downloads folder, and we reload the, fi the files, we won't have any icon. Now, the reason for this is quite simple. is because we have to restart our computer for the icons to show up. But we can still use our jar file. So if I double click this, I can now use the iOS installer, for example. So this is how you get Java working on your computer. And this is Java 8. But if you need a newer version of Java, all you have to do is simply go to your web browser and use this website here. If you go to this website and you scroll down, you'll see Java 21, 23. Just select the one you need, but 23 works pretty good. And it automatically uses Linux. So simply select Windows and click on x64 installer. So it's the middle one here. So now it's going to start downloading the x64 installer, which is a bit bigger than the Java 8. So let's just wait for it to download. Okay, so once we downloaded Java 23, we will have the same thing as before in EXE. And if we go to our downloads folder, we have JDK 23. So what we want to do here, same thing, just double click it. It shows us the same little prompt, just says yes. And we have a very similar install script right here, same thing. It's going to start downloading everything. There you go. And it's already done. And if we go to our little file here again, we won't have any icon because we did not restart our computer. But if I do double click this, I can use it. And we do have a different like size for this. So it is a bit different. Both Java's are different, but they will work. But maybe the latest one will work better depending on your application. And if you want to like see your installed Java's and also 
uninstall them, all you have to do is simply go to your control panel, like so. You should see this little control panel here, simply search up control panel, you see here, and then go and uninstall a program. And once you're here, you'll see your two Javas, Java 8 and Java 23 right here. So yeah, that's how we get Java onto a Windows operating system in 2025. So if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.